you found yourself kind of um, transitioning to getting involved in what's happening in New York, from mm -hmm. I understand, Hot 97 yeah. as an intern. Tell me a bit about that transition from like... New York is a, a, a different type of beast. In New Jersey, I wasn't doing anything entertainment related. I wasn't going out. I wasn't going to the clubs. I wasn't hanging out. I was just, I just lived in Elizabeth, New Jersey. That was it. But New York is where I worked, where I thrived, where ideas came, and I just felt like I belong. Even though it was a 21 minute ride on the New Jersey transit, it was just a whole different mind state when you got to New York. And that's really what mattered to me and that's what drove me and pushed me and, and just even my first time by myself riding the train was going to apply for that internship with, with Angie Martinez. How was that internship? Um, it was an incredible experience to even try out for it because it went from like 100 to 30 to 10, down to five, down to the top three. I didn't make it, but then I got to intern for Flex, so that was really cool. Um, but it was definitely interesting. She she got me to 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 you know think outside of myself, to see bigger and to want more. And I already thought like I was at this place like no, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. And she was like, well, cool, you're doing good. I want you to do great. And even though she didn't pick me, I remember a couple months later, she saw me in the hallway and she was like, you know what? I should have picked you. And I was like, what? It was just so exciting. She also mentions me in her book. No big deal though, but. You know, um, that was exciting within itself and just to have a relationship with her now and, and things like that. So, um, yeah, it was definitely a learning experience and it was one of my first to really catapult me and get me into the door, but I wouldn't have changed it for nothing because I was sitting at home listening to the radio like I normally do. And she was like, oh, enter this contest. And I remember my friend called and she was like, uh, what are you about to do? I was like, let me call you back because I'm about to go on the internet. This one you had to do dial up. It's not what we have now. And I was like, I'm about to go on the internet. She was like, why? I was like, I'm about to enter this contest. She was like, why? You're not going to win. I could have said, yeah, you're right, and sat on the phone and just had regular convo like we normally do. But I was like, nah, I'm going to call you back. So then I did the whole thing, sent an email, and literally like 15 minutes after I sent the email, I like got off the computer because I said to myself, I was like, after I sent it, I was like, she may call me, so let me free up the line. And <laughs> anybody who calls, I was like, yep, let me call you back. My mom will call you back. I turned off all the ringers in the house because I did not want anyone. I did not want anyone on the phone. And then, lo and behold, I get a call. I look at the the call ID. It said MS Communications, and it was her intern at the time who won the year prior. Um, Mike calling. He was like, "Angie wants you to come up to the station." And I'm like, "It, it went from there." 